Okay, assalamu alaikum everyone. Um, thank you for coming to this class. Um, hopefully it's gonna be a, a fun learning class. Um, so basically um, we're not gonna be doing the filling. I'm just going to teach you a couple of ways of how to fill the samosas and, um, and maybe make it a little easier on those who've not done it before. So really there are many ways of filling samosas, but I'm just going to show you two ways. And I, I think this will be a little easier, especially for um, um, those who are doing it for the first time or just learning how to um, uh, fill the samosas. And, and it, if you want a nice triangle shape samosa, this is one way of doing it. And I'm just going to try and make it a little easier for you guys, um, inshallah. Um, so if you have any questions um, while I'm going uh, through doing the samosas or filling them in, please ask. Um, so I have a couple of fillings that I'm going to be using today. And I have one that's chicken. And uh, basically it's just chicken with a little bit of onions and some spices with cilantro. Uh, and I'm going to be making square samosas with this filling. So that will be interesting. Um, fairly easy if you're gonna find the triangle ones a little difficult to make. And this is a, um, a ground beef filling. And again, basically it's just ground beef, some, some onion and Indian spices with cilantro. Um, and we're gonna try and make it uh, two ways today. I usually use a ready-made um, samosa pastry and this is what I get. Um, they come in long strips like this. Um, it says 60 sheets. I use two sheets per samosa. Uh, and, for this, and for the square one, I'm going to use four sheets. Um, so I, um, once I've opened it, I separate them and usually leave it in a Ziploc bag or just to stop them from getting dry because they dry very easily. So what I usually do is I'll separate the pack in two sheets each. And uh, these are already been separated and that's two sheets each and I'll just separate them, make a pile of it and then leave it in my Ziploc bag till I'm ready to uh, work on, on the samosas. It just makes it a little easier. So from this one packet, we can make 30 samosas. Or, um, and if you're making square samosas, then um, 15 uh, samosas from one pack. Um, you need to basically make a glue. And I'm using um, white flour with just water. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I just mixed it with water and um, the consistency of a glue, really. Uh, and I'm gonna use um, this brush to, um, to stick the, the pastry so that it stays the shape we want it to stay and it doesn't open up. Um, so I think I'm gonna first show you how to do the square samosa because it's very simple to make and easy to make. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and make the triangle one. So I'm going to take, I'm going to remove this from the ziplock bag and we need um, two, two sets. I'm going to move the camera so that you guys can see it a little better. Can you see my workspace? Yes. Yeah. yeah of life in southern okay yeah now it's better oh. right is that better yes, that's good if we <laughs> okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, i'll take we need two strips to make the square summer so there is two um two a double strip on each in each strip because i've uh, that's how I separated them. So I'm going to take two strips. And here we have two strips. And then I'm going to overlap 
one over the other at the end. So I'm going to put one down mm -hmm. facing away from me. And then I'm going to put the other one facing across. And I have a little square area over here. Mm -hmm. You can see that. And that's where I'm going yeah. to put my filling. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to use um, my filling here. I mean, it's always a good idea to uh, prepare your workstation so you have everything that you you need while you're doing uh, while you're making your samosas. Um, you don't have to fill it to the top, just enough. Uh, and we're going to make a pocket, and we can at the end towards uh, before we finish wrapping it up, we're going to um, open the pocket and we can fill it up a little more if we want to. So you're gonna take the piece that's at the bottom, not the top piece, the bottom piece, and you're gonna bring it over facing you. So it's gonna be facing me. Uh, just do it gently and lightly. You don't have to put, uh, uh, make it tight. And then this little a squish here, and then you're gonna go ahead and take your glue. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the other one that's on the other side and flip it over. And this is gonna stick on to the, to the one that we've had previously that we folded. I'm now gonna flip this over Holding my samosa, I'm just gonna flip it over. This, this side is the one that I, I folded last, and, but this is not the one we're gonna fold in. It's the first one that I folded in and I'm gonna fold it over like this. So again, your glue. And you're gonna fold this one over. And now we have a pocket. If you look, we have a pocket. And you can fold more in if you feel like you wanna add more. You can pick it up, you can lift it up, or you can just do it on, on, on your worktop. So I'm just gonna lift this up and I'm gonna fill a little more in because I think we, we can get away with filling a little bit more in. Okay. Now that I've filled it in, we just need to do our last fold. And I'm gonna put the glue again. And I'm gonna fold it over. And that's our square samosa. Mm. Cool. I'm going to make another one so you can see <coughs> making it again. So again, two strips. One going across and one going over. One going vertical and one going across. There we go. I have my little square piece here. I'm going to fill it in. Just add my filling. You know, you can use any filling that you want. It doesn't have to be the uh, this particular filling, anything you want. You can have the beef filling, you can have vegetable. Um, or maybe you have a, a favorite filling that you like to use. Again, I'm using the bottom piece. It's the one that's underneath mm -hmm. where I put the filling. The underneath one is the one that's gonna go over first. So I'm gonna pull this over, squish it a little to flatten it. My glue goes on. And then the other side, I'm gonna flip over the other side. And I'm just gonna lift the samosa and lift it and turn it around the other way. This is the last that I folded in. So I'm gonna fold this one in now, the one that I folded first. Glue. Just stick it on. 
we have a little pocket now. I'm just going to add more, um, more filling in there. Nermaine, where do you get the samosa pastry uh, from? Um, so I got mine from um, Harvest Fresh. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, that's where I got from. But I know a lot of Indian stores carry it. Mm -hmm. um, and they might not be the exact same brand. Mm -hmm. uh, but this, uh, but it, 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 it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't have to be the same brand. I think it makes it easier if you have the strips already cut. Oh, yeah. Uh, it just makes it a little easier. Okay, so again, some more glue and finish off this. It's really simple. Anyone, I think anyone can do this. It's a simple um, folding technique and they come out perfectly square. Yeah, perfect. And they look really good. Mm -hmm. So, um, these are like, it's an easy, um, easy samosa to make. I'm gonna make one more and then we'll go on to make the triangle one, okay? So one more and then, um, okay, so one going across, one going lengthwise. And I've made my little pocket here, my little square. Add your filling. Think about it. A couple of teaspoons is enough for, for, for this. I put less and then I'll top it up at the end. Um, so I want you, the bottom piece is going to go over. I don't want you to pull it too tight, but just enough. Your glue. Take the other strip and bring it over. While you're doing this, make sure that you have your corners mm -hmm. tucked in well, because you don't want it open. Um, then I'm gonna flip it over. Got my little pocket. You don't even have to lift it up. You can just put it in working from your base. I just find it easier to lift it up. Nice square samosas. Any questions, anyone? Oh, it's, looks like very easy. But yeah, <laughs> very simple. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna do a triangle, a, a couple of, a few triangle ones and let's see if you find that a little easier. So here's my strip. I, I The end of it is a little um, thicker and harder. So I usually like to cut this, this end off. And it's just a very thin strip. And you can always fry these later on. They make oh, a good, freeze it. Uh, yeah. We could freeze it, okay. You can freeze it and you know, you don't have to waste this, even these little strips. I usually make a few samosas at a time, so you can. Um, so um, I want you to fold in such a way where if you see it on the other side, you'll see a little triangle sticking mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's it's not an exact triangle that you're gonna be folding in, it's going in a little like this, 
But if you look at it on the other side, you'll see a little triangle. And mm -hmm. that's going to be your little flap that you're going to hold on to to, do, to fill your samosa. So this is how it's going to look, basically. You have a little, um, you can see a little triangle mm -hmm. off. Um, and then you can add a little bit of glue over there if you want. And you're going to lift, put your finger at the tip of this because you want it closed it, and you're going to go the opposite side. And you have basically made your little pocket. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's your pocket. I usually, it's like a cone. I hold it and I fill it in. But you don't have to. You can keep it on, on your base and fill it in. So I like to hold this little triangle tip, keep my thumb there so it doesn't open up while I, while I open the samosa um, cone and then I'm gonna do my filling. And this time I'm going to use the, um, the beef filling that I have. Now, there's a couple of way of doing this. Um, if you don't feel very confident doing it with your, holding it with your hands, you can put it back on your base. And what you're gonna do is make sure you tuck it in, put your finger at the tip here, and this is gonna go across the, the same samosa line. But you just wanna make sure that you close in this tip. You wanna make sure that your pastry is closed in tight. Um, so again, I would put some um, glue here at the end, just so that it closes in well. And, I, and you should have a little triangle left over. And again, we're gonna put some glue in this triangle and close it in. And you have your triangle samosa. We're going to do it a couple of times, so you get a hang of it. Um, like I said, this is not the only way of making the samosa. I just wanted to make it a little easier for you know those who are trying it for the first time or just learning it. It just makes it a little easier because uh, the, a lot of people don't want to try making the samosas because they think it's difficult to do. Uh, What's the purpose in cutting that, that end? It's just the end is a it's little really. thicker. It's a little thicker and yeah, drier, but it's also a little thicker. And so it doesn't stick well. You know when at the end, when you're sticking it, oh, okay. it, it won't stick well. Sometimes it kind of sticks out and it just, it just gives you a clean finish. That's all, oh. Sister Sophia. If you don't want to cut it, that's okay. You don't have to. Um, but... Um, it's only for a, a clean finish. Um, I usually don't use the base. I just do it in my hands, but I want to show you again. We're going to go with the, this edge will meet that, that end, but that your end product is that you have a little triangle on the other side. That's what you're trying to do. So um, I'm just going to push it up a little. You can see that little triangle on the other side. I know I've gone enough ways. And then um, it's you're going to take this end and go across on the opposite side. It's just going fingertip there, and then you're going to go on the opposite side. Again, you can put some glue there. You don't have to, but uh, it just keeps it all closed in. And I'm going to take it there. And that's your triangle. You, you can hold on to this little triangle that's sticking out. Usually I use it to hold it on so it doesn't open up. You're gonna open it up like a cone. Mm -hmm. Or you can just leave it in the base, open it up like a cone and then put your filling in. It's really up to whatever works, works for you. So I'm just gonna fill it in.
And this time I'm going to do it without putting it on the base myself. I'm just going to tuck a little in. I'm going to show you. I'll tuck this in closed. And then I'll follow this line. And I can put some um, glue. And I have some leftover and I'm just gonna put some glue on it and wrap it around. Now, the first one that I did had a, a nice triangle left over and I finished it off neatly. This one has a little bit more leftover, but it's okay. You're just gonna go all the way around and then you have a little bit left over, you're just gonna yeah. tuck it in. You don't, you know, you don't get all, worked up that, oh, it's not gonna, it's still your triangle. And you just don't wanna waste that little piece cutting it off, just use it. So two pastries for one triangle samosa, we used um, two, two sheets, uh, two, 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 two pastries, but four sheets because we have two sheets each. And the reason why I use two sheets is it just, um, it makes it nice and crispy, crispy. It doesn't go soggy. Hmm. Again, I'm just gonna cut the edges. Um, and I'm gonna do it one more time. I have my little triangle sticking out. I'm just gonna add a little glue there. Make sure your tip is closed because you don't want oil going into your samosa. And it just, um, and it makes it a little less. Okay, there we go. We got our little pocket. I'm holding on to that little triangle piece with my thumb and then add my filling. I think two, two teaspoon is enough. I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna tuck this in. I got my edge, just make sure my edge is closed in. The glue again, my edge is closed in. And then I'm gonna finish it off. So, oh, Normaine, every time you use make the triangle one, you use two pastry sheets for that? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh. I've tried doing it with just one, and it, it they don't come out good. Oh, okay. Especially when, it's, when you're frying them, and they be, they're just nice and crispy, yeah. um, and enough pastry. It feels like you don't have enough pastry when you don't, when you just do the single ones. Oh. Um, you know, but if you feel like um, you're okay with the single one, it, it's, it's nothing wrong with doing single ones. Um, so I'm gonna do this one here totally without using the base and show you how I usually do it. I just tuck it in. I usually don't glue the, the side, but I will afterwards. Uh, and it's just because I'm used to doing it this way. Yeah, I do it this way. Yeah, once you do it often enough, you just become more confident. Yeah. Um, just gonna tuck it in a little and then go all the way around and then I'm gonna put my glue and on the edges and tuck it in. There we go. Um, yeah. I, was, I wanted to um, fry the samosas with you guys so that you can can see the end, okay, I can see this little bit is opening up. I'm just gonna add a little glue to it. And if it does, it's okay. It's not gonna um, let the filling out. Um, the trick is not to add too much filling because you don't want the samosas to burst. Yeah. Um, so I, I just made a few before as well, before we started. So we have a few here that we can fry and you can see the end product. Um, normally when I've done my samosas, I, I will put the tray in the freezer and leave it in the freezer for about um, 
a couple of hours, one to two hours. And then I will go ahead and put it either in a Ziploc if I want to freeze them, because you can freeze them and they stay well up to about three months. They stay, they'll stay good. Um, so once I take it out from the freezer, I've, you know, I've had it in there for about an hour or two. I, I'll usually put them in a Ziploc bag, a Ziploc bag like this. Mm -hmm. or um, a, a container if you have if you want to put it in a, a, a Ziploc container you can put it in there too and it stays well um, for a few months and then whenever you want to um, have some you, all you have to do is take it out straight from the freezer and into the um, the oil so I'm just going to go ahead and mm -hmm. put not my mean. oil can on and I'll be not mean can you tell yeah. us the potato filling you can do a potato filling too. Yeah, what do you put there? Um, so I usually, well, you know what? Uh, let me, I would do it the same way that I do uh, my fillings for my kima as well. Um, so I'll um, boil my potato or you can use, or you can uh, just cut your potatoes in small squares and cook it that way from, from raw. Or you can boil your potatoes and just um, chop them up um or even squash them a little uh i would put um a little bit of olive oil um some mustard seed um and um um cumin and jeera powder a what's little that? bit of yeah what's some jeera is, the, yeah jeera is cumin and oh, sorry, and, and um, jeera powder and um, cilantro um, powder. Powder, yeah. Uh, the seeds from the seeds. Yeah. Um, we call it dana. And, and you can get them from any stores. Yeah, I use um, it a lot. Yeah. Right. And garlic. I usually would use just garlic. Uh, mm -hmm. To flavor it, you can have green chili if you want green chili, um, mm -hmm. a little bit of um, turmeric, uh, lemon juice. Oh, no, no onion? Um, I When I make my potato ones, I usually don't put onions, no. Okay. But you can if you want to. You can make it your own, sister. But uh, when I make the potato ones, I don't know. You can also add vegetables with the potatoes. They, it comes out good with the vegetables, too. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I'm just going to go switch the uh, oil on and then we'll talk a little. Hold on. Okay, um... So again, the oil, medium heat, um, you know, I'll use one of these things, these little ones that I cut off to test, test, test the oil before I go ahead and fry my samosas. Um, but meanwhile, does anyone have any questions? Yes, I do. Uh, I want to know what kind of this, uh, the samosa wrappers you're using, are they thick or thin? They're thin. They they like the chi they're the same ones that you would use like the Chinese wrappers. Oh, they are the same like that. Okay. okay. Yeah, but this is what I used. Yeah, this is Aman. Aman? The name yeah. Aman. It, yeah, yeah, it's called Aman. Where and where did you say you buy these ones from? I got this one from um is it fresh? Uh, harvest. Harvest fresh. Harvest oh. fresh. Yeah. Where is it? Um, is it in Anaheim, right, Sister Rabia? Catella and Brockhurst. Catella um, and Brockhurst. Because I live in Upland. Oh. Um, you know what? You can find this in any of the Indian yeah. stores. So if you go to any of the Indian stores, they usually carry them. Oh, they do? Okay. Yeah. Because and if you can't I... find anything, then buy the Chinese wrapper. Yeah. Wrap. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then you just have to cut them in, in strips. Right. Okay, that's yeah. what I buy. I've, I've done that before, and I've uh, I buy the the square Chinese wrap, right. the bigger size one, and then I cut three strips from there. 
Okay. So you have three locks and then you can use it. It's the same thing, sister. The same okay. thing. And, and they, they come out really good too. And because they're very thin, is why I use um, two, two strips. Yeah. So you but, don't separate yeah. these two ones, right? These two are stuck to each other. Yeah. So what, what I usually just open, open up my packet and I'll literally peel off two each. Yeah. Two each. Before off. I start the process of doing my samosa, that's my yeah. pre prep. I'll separate them and then always put them in a bag because they get dry very right. easily or, yes. uh, or, or with a wet cloth. But I usually just keep it in a Ziploc bag. I'll separate them and then keep them in a Ziploc yes. bag. Yes, that's uh, good. Idea. And, um, and then I use, I take them off from the bag as I use them. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, uh, you know, like you usually make a few. That okay. one. Time. Okay, I'm going to try and take the camera to my kitchen so that you guys can see me frying. So okay. please hold on a second, and let's see how we can how I can if I can manage to do that. Let me know if you can see the frying pan. Yes, yes, yes we do. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just, oh, I wish I could, you could see me frying it, but let, uh, maybe I might be able to pick it up. So I'm just going to do a tester mm -hmm. to see how it's going to. Okay, so I can see it bubbling. Um, let's see. Is that right? No, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, yeah, now you could see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's, can... it's kind of like bubbling, so I know the oil is ready. So I'm going to put the samosas in there. Now, normally, I would fry my chicken samosa separately and my beef separately in different oils because I just don't want the flavors to uh, mix together. But for today, I'm just going to put them together for you to see so I can fry both the triangle ones and the square ones, okay? So I'm just going to add them in there. Oops. Bismillah. No, I mean, I thought the egg roll wrappers are much smaller than that. Which ones? The, the Chinese ones? Yeah. The egg roll ones? Well, you get yeah. the bigger size ones no, as well. No, bigger size. The same. You get, you get small ones, and then you also get a bigger size one, um, Sister Sophia. Sophia. Yeah. yeah. It comes 40, 40 sheet in each one. In the package. Oh, okay. But if you can get the ones that are, you know, ready done, then it's a lot a easier. Lot easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Save time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it saves you a lot of time. And then I also find that when I cut it myself, I don't always get them the exact same size. No way. <laughs> Right, some strips are okay. So I'm yeah. just um, it's, it's deep, perfect. Yeah, it's deep fry oil, so you need quite a bit of oil. Um, um, you can also make these in your um, air fryer. I've done them in the air fryer as well. They come out really good in the air fryer. Um, yes. All you need to do is just um, uh, brush a little bit of oil on on either side of the samosas. And then um, put it in the uh, air fryer, and they come out really good. Um, mm -hmm. One of the reasons um, when I make uh, my filling, I always put raw onions in my filling. Filling at the end, once I've made my filling, I finally chop my onions and I put it at the end, so I don't cook my onion. And one of mm -hmm. the reasons is so that my samosa stays moist and not very dry when we eating them Ooh. and um and i feel that when i do them in the air dryer they're just perfect because um they're they're just nice and crunchy uh and not too dry mm. Mm. so as you can see they're getting done and slightly browning um i I usually lower the heat once I've got my samosas in there. I like to cook it in a, a lower heat 
um, because they just come out really nice and crispy. Um, if you've got the oil too hot, they're just going to go brown very quickly. Uh, mm -hmm. But then you'll find that your samosa is not going to be crispy. Mm -hmm. It's still edible, you know, but it's just, it just won't have that crunch. Mm -hmm. So it should be done in a little bit. Any questions, anyone? Can you guys see the samosas uh, frying? Can... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I wish I had someone else helping me out. Then that way we could have. No, no we can. We can see it. Okay, good. I've never so... made the samosa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to fold it. I, it. It comes out every time it falls out of the pocket. I, I, <laughs> well, I, you can see they're not falling off the pocket. I see. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's easy. Now yeah. I did it with the paper and it came very good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the square ones, especially if you can. Yeah. If you can get the triangle ones, hey, go for the square ones. They look cute. They, they, look, yeah. they look really nice and they're going to yeah. taste the same. Mm -hmm. I think a couple more minutes and they should be ready for me to take them out. Um, you know, when we talk about filling, we call them samosas and our filling is like uh, Indian spices, but you can make your own filling. You can make any, any filling that you, you like, you know? and make your own, you can also do a sweet filling and, um, and make it into a dessert. The only thing that I, uh, you have to be careful about is you don't want it to be too moist, your filling, just make sure that it's not too wet. So what, uh, can, what sweet that you put inside? Like, I mean, you could, I, I mean, like you could do almond, crushed almonds, you know, um, um, well, Cream it cheese. with some cheese. Yeah, oh, I mean, and sweeten it. And then yeah. sprinkle it with yeah, sugar, and then, powdered sugar. Yeah, mm -hmm. and sweeten it. I've done um, like the square samosa. Sometimes I, I have the um, chicken filling and then I'll add strips of um, cheese at the bottom and then I'll put my filling on top. And okay. uh, it has that, um, you know, slightly different filling. Um, so you can make your own filling, whatever you want. It doesn't have to be the way, uh, you know, the filling that we use for a typical uh, South Asian samosa. And also, I think everybody makes it slightly different than, you know, we all have our little different ways of, of making our fillings and, you know, what each family, cater to your family, right? What they like and what they don't like, they like yes. this likes. So I think um, I'm gonna, you can see that they're, um, let's see, they're browning. Wow, it looks so good. It does. Mm. So I'm gonna, I think, get I ready. like this square one. <laughs> it's different, right, sister? Yeah. Um, Rabia, yeah. Something yeah. different. It yeah. It's good. Yeah. Okay, so it, again, it's your preference. I don't like them to go too dark. I like mm. them golden brown. And yeah. so I usually take it off when they're golden brown. I wish I could share this with you guys, but maybe one of the times we'll make it as a, in base. Again, I just have, um, I don't know if you can, uh, I just have like paper towel and I'm just, mm -hmm. just to remove the excess oil. And I'm gonna take the rest of them out. Don't forget to switch your stove off ladies. <laughs> Very careful. important, yeah, it's, you need to be really careful. Yes. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take this 
to my table again and let's see if we can I can show you what the end product's gonna look like. I'm just gonna move all this out of the way. Okay, of course, presentation is important, right, guys? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have my little dish here. And I, um, once the samosas have drained, there we go. And I'll have some of the triangle ones. I'm ready to eat. Um, I have a couple of chutneys. They're just like red chili chutney and a green chutney. Um, I'm gonna wait for it to get a little cooler so I can um, break open one or two and you can have a look at it. And, Dress face uh, so we can come over and join you. Oh my yeah. God, yeah. <laughs> so you know what I'm going to be doing? I'm gonna go visit, um, I, you know, um, Sister Thelma Bilal, one of our Olivers from all of friends had surgery done a couple of days ago, a few days yeah. ago. Oh, I'm she's gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go visit her today. She's doing well, she's doing okay. Alhamdulillah. Oh, alhamdulillah. Uh, yeah, alhamdulillah. she had a surgery done and she's, she's at home. Um, and mm. I, I'm gonna share some of this with her. She loves some yeah. of that. Yeah, good. A, a good treat for her. Mm. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let me see if I can, let me get a, a knife. I'm gonna cut it so that you can see what it looks like inside. I'm gonna do the square one. Yeah, no, it's... Okay. So when you put that, see tea how crispy it is when I'm cutting it. It's so nice and crispy. I mean, when you put that chicken, how did you mince it up so little? I bought the, I, I, I got it as minced from my butcher. He, okay. he, that's how I buy it, minced chicken. Uh -oh. It's, it's a chicken breast. Oh, that's chicken breast. What it looks like, guys. Wow, it looks good, yeah. And then you know, in the chutney and in your in your tummy. Okay, let me, I'll, I'll cut the triangle one too so you can have a look. Um, well, that looks yummy. I don't know if you can hear how crispy they are, but they're really nice and crispy. And that's, it's important to uh, fry them uh, on a lower heat, not too quickly. And mm -hmm. this is the beef one. So like I said, you can make all kinds of fillings. You know, if you're vegetarian, you can, um, yeah. you can use vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can use a, a Chinese filling, an Indian filling, any, any kind of filling, really, mm -hmm. whatever you want to. You can make it your own. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and try. It's good to experiment. I mean, it doesn't have to always be the same spices. Any questions, anyone else? Anyone? Yes, what kind of uh, pastry did you use? Sorry, I've been multitasking being in another conference, but watching you. Uh, samosa. It's, oh, okay. uh, it's called, it's, this, this particular brand is from Malaysia. Okay. Mm. But you know, like, I mean, I, I, a lot of the Indian stores carry carry them. It doesn't have to be this, this brand. Uh, okay. I just happened to buy this one here when I uh, and I got it from Harvest. Um, is it Harvest Choice, Sister Robia? What is yes. it called? Yes, now? Harvest Choice. Oh, okay, yeah, that's where I got mine from. But I know a lot of the Indian stores carry it. Oh. No, um, maybe even the Middle Eastern um, stores. Yeah, Harvest is Middle Eastern. Oh, looks so good. Mm. 
Ready for Ramadan? <laughs> Maybe, huh? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, it looks like we finish. Yeah, Narmeen, are you there? The camera got cut off. I don't see oh, her. Yeah, they're recording. Oh. Let's see if she comes back in. I don't see. I hope she's okay. Oh, there she comes back. Oh. <laughs> we can't hear you. And we lost you for a while. I know. I, I don't know what happened. It just suddenly went off screen. Uh -huh. But alhamdulillah, I'm back. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, Sister Rubina, did you have any more questions? Well, you know, I'm, I'm in my office today and I was watching you, but now couldn't hear because I was hearing another conference. Okay. So, uh, I saw you folding the square one, but I didn't see you folding the triangle one, but maybe I'll watch the video. Yes. Um, yeah, you can catch it on the video. Uh, it's been recorded, so yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks it uh, looks really good. Yes. Yeah. I wish I could share it with you guys. Yeah. I think when these things happen, I'm gonna start showing up. <laughs> no, before Ramadan, we should all get together and do everybody they'll do their own. We should. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Inshallah. Yeah. And we should make this a, a flag for us to do in base when we yeah. are together. And right. freeze it, then yeah. freeze it for the end. The best way of learning is doing it, right? I, right. Mean, I'm sure, yeah. I mean, I'm showing it to you, but um, you still like when you do it yourself, It's that's the best learning way. What was uh, in the paste that you were putting on? So it was flour and water, just flour, just and, flour water. and water. Okay. I just mixed and it's... Um, the consistency of glue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just our glue base. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Narmin, while you're doing that, I cut the paper and I did it the same way you're doing that. Oh, okay. Two yes. papers and I fold it with you. So it worked out. <laughs> I right? got it. And this is the triangle. So. Oh, show me, show me, Rabia. How did you do the triangle one? The uh -huh. triangle I, got is, the, I saw the square one, but show me the triangle one. The triangle is what two steps together and uh -huh. you fold it. Okay. And just keep folding, folding and fill it. Oh. And you put the paste maybe in the end or you could put it in, in every mm -hmm. layer. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Whatever. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> that's so a good you're making patterns. <laughs> good way yeah. to practice. Yeah. Rabia yeah. has a samosa pattern. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and I want to, you know what? Uh, this is not the only way, right, of making um, samosas. There are so many different ways of making, and every household does it slightly different. Um, yeah. And um, there are different ways of making samosas too. Um, the reason why I picked this one is it's um, a lot of people like the triangle shape. And, uh, but they always say, I can't make the triangles shape. So I think this is one of the easier way of, of doing it. Yeah, you know? the way I learned was to, you know, you make your own dough and you make a circle and then you oh. cut it in half uh, and yeah. then you half and you put the paste on the other side and then you get a triangle. Oh, and, 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 the, and the, like the one, circle, right? the, the, one the one you get, circle? yeah. The half circle. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, a, mean, that's a, another easy way of doing it. But um, this is just, it makes a perfect triangle. I think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Narmin, you know how to make it with tortilla? Um, I've made it I with like tortilla. That and that's how we make them with tortilla. We cut it in half, so it's half a circle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a half a circle. And fold it. Fold it in, make it like a, slight, like a cone, fill it yeah, in, yeah. and then just close the top. And that's it. Yeah, and that's but, it. It's easy. And you put the paste. Yeah, you yeah. The, paste. the glue. The you glue. Have, to yeah. have the paste to keep it closed in. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, and I think um, the I've I've done the tortilla ones. They come out really good too. They taste different. They are slightly different taste than uh, the pastry that I use today. Uh -huh. um, yeah. 
Yeah. But if you were to make the pastry yourself, uh, is it just a plain, like a roti pastry or yeah, is there something no, in it? It's just, no, there's nothing in it. It's just white. It's just flour and water. That's just it. flour and water and the roti. Yeah. No, no yeah, oil no. or nothing in it. Mm, oh. No. So, you know, when I, I remember when we used to make them uh, a long time ago when we didn't get these kind of pastries, we had to make them at home. We used to roll little round circles and then um, we used to um, make piles of them, um, maybe six or seven on top of each other. But we used to put oil and a little bit of flour in between each, mm -hmm. um, uh, each roll. And then mm -hmm. we would make a pile of maybe seven or eight. And then we would roll it into a big uh, circle. It would be oh. there. And we would cook it on the stove and as it's getting hot, we would just take each strip oh. off. So it would be a nice thin strip of samosa pastry. And then we would cut it to how we wanted it. That's how we used to make it before. I'm sure there are a lot of people that still maybe make it that way. Yeah. But yeah, so you but put the flour inside, flour and oil and- In between oil. the layers so that they don't yeah. stick together. So I'm once so rolled it into a big, mm -hmm. uh, a big circle, like the size of a big tortilla circle. And then we would heat it up on the stove, you know, um, on a pan. Uh, and then it, it, as it gets a little hot, you, you, you see it like um, separating and oh. you just put it out. And that's how we did it in those I days. That, yeah. more, work. Yeah. Yeah, more work. Yeah. Harvest is easier. Of course, this is, yeah. you know, we have so many, so much going on in our lives, right? Yeah. It's a yeah. little easier for us. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Oh, that's great. That's well, good. it was really nice doing Thank this with you guys, God. ladies. It was so good. Thank I you. hope you learned something from it. A lot. Oh, yes. uh, we learned a lot. And like I said, you know, even if you don't know how to make this particular filling that I made, because, you know, it's that's a whole another session, the filling. Um, mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. make your own filling, but inshallah, maybe in the future we'll make a, 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 a session where we're doing the filling. What about the chutneys? Did you make those too? Those chutneys, yeah, they're homemade. I made them at home. This one mm -hmm. here is with, um, the green one is with green chili, cilantro, and mint. Let me see. Mm. Okay. Uh, Just to grind it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I blended it all and I, I have added some um, fresh garlic in there. Mm. And um, to sweeten it a little, I added apricot paste, apricot paste. Looks what was and the other then, chutney? Did you have other ones? Just a red, red, red chutney. And I just what? used um, uh, red chili paste, uh -huh. um, some ketchup, cilantro, mm. and tamarind. Mm -hmm. Tamarind mm -hmm. paste. Looks amazing. Huh? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the class. I enjoyed doing this with you guys. Thank and, you, uh, Inshallah, Thank you. I'll see you all soon. Okay. Inshallah. Thank you very much. Soon. Thank uh, you, everyone. The program Thank start you. on yes. uh, next Tuesday, October Inshallah. 5th. Inshallah. Okay. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum, everyone. Assalamualaikum. All of Community Services is a 501c3 nonprofit organization based in Southern California that provides culturally appropriate services to seniors, their family, and the community. Through its physical and virtual interactive programs, Olive engages participants in a variety of ways that promotes health and well being. To learn more about Olive Community Services, to get involved, or to make a donation, please visit www.olivecs.org or email info at olivecs.org. Be a change maker, and together, let's live, learn, and thrive.